guys, it's Michelle and I'm here to talk with you guys about the four challenges that you're going to face and fix as a um, person who is launching a membership program. I'm obviously in the throes of promotion for my membership miracle program and um, we have three spots left. So if you want in, now's the time to join. It's um, bmichellepippin.com backslash the hyphen membership hyphen miracle. I'll put it in the comments below. But the truth is, is that memberships are nothing new, right? I had my first membership back in 2008, 2009, something like that. It was extremely profitable. Um, it had zero content in terms of, you know, what was expected of me. It was run with email and with, um, with phone. That was it. So if you, um, anyway, so you can totally do it low tech. I was just in this membership mastermind where everybody in there is, uh, trying to learn how to create a membership. And it's so funny because one of the things that I saw as I was preparing for this when I was um, going through this very, very active, I'm actually in the Facebook group now. Let me see um, how many people are, there are. Okay, so over 5,000 uh, people in this group that's dedicated to teaching people how to uh, run and grow memberships. And here's what I found. 95% of the questions were all about the technology of using a, or, or growing a membership, starting a membership, et cetera. Um, as I go through these four challenges, if you have a specific question, definitely um, type it in the comments below and let me know um, that you have that question. But um, the four challenges you're gonna face, the t first two are um, actually very, very interrelated, right? So the first one is upfront cost. And the second one is technology hurdles, technology hassles, like whatever you want to call it. And so these two are very linked because when you say, I want to start a membership site, I want to start a membership program, immediately when you start Googling, you're going to have a, um, just a, looks like the spaghetti model for Hurricane Irma, like all of these things coming to you talking about, you need, um, you know, this plugin, you need that, um, you know, checkout, you need all of these different things. And these things can be extremely expensive if you are just starting out and you know you have no members yet who are paying for for all of this technology and so if you are doing membership sort of the way everybody um, tells you to do membership which I totally disagree with by the way I think that it is a recipe for losing a bunch of money a bunch of time and ending up thinking that memberships don't work for you or don't work for your industry or don't work for whatever right the truth is memberships do work they're an absolutely brilliant way to leverage your not only your expertise because it doesn't have to be built on content as we're going to get to in a minute but they're a brilliant way to leverage your bedside manner right like how you engage with your market they're a brilliant way to grip to build a foundation of income um, for the rest of whatever you do in your business. They're an amazing way to build not only your bottom line, but really deep relationships with the people that you want to serve. I am sold out to memberships. I have talked a long time about my deep regret of ending a membership that I had back in 2008, 2009. I just let it die through attrition. These people were raving fans. Um, it was generating over $10,000 a month every month, and I somehow got distracted um, and chased a shiny object that uh, was totally a distraction, and I, I regret it. But that membership back then, before memberships were popular, it was, it was you know, built on email and phone. But let's get back to those challenges we need to face and fix. So the first two are related. It's the um, upfront costs and the technology hurdles. Most of your upfront costs are going to be technology driven costs that you feel like it is, um, you know, it, you feel like is necessary for you to make money or for you to look professional or for you to look like a real membership or blah, 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 right? And I am here to tell you the fix for this is to hold back those spending reins, right? 
when you're building a membership, you want that, you want to prove the membership first, right? You do not want to go into membership and spend yourself poor because you are investing in all of this technology, right? One, unless you're a real, you know, a gifted person with technology, the technology hurdles and technology hassles alone are enough to make me like run away, run for the hills and be like, keep the money. I'm just never coming back. So on, on, there's that end, but there's also the upfront cost end. And I'm telling you that if you burden your membership with a bunch of questions and issues and expenses relating to technology, I can predict one thing for certain, you probably will not launch, right? Because you're gonna think it's too hard, it's too complicated, it's taking too much of your time. Most people build memberships on the back of other businesses, right? So they have their other, and I did the same thing, right? I have my consulting firm, and then I built Women Who Wow while I was doing that. Hold on one sec. So you don't have time to get um, just muddy down and bogged down in all the technology stuff. So upfront cost technology hurdles, the top two challenges you need to face and fix. Listen, opt out, right? Immediately think, what is the simplest way that I can run this membership? I, you know, back in the day, my coaching gym um, in 2008, 2009, it was run on email and phone. The early days of Women Who Wow, it was like a BCC email list. Like that was it. And then when that got too large, I did like two BCC email lists. Honest to God, that's how people got their stuff. That's how people got their content. It was simple, it was easy. And I still have people saying, well, can we go back to, now we have an actual membership site, super simple, super affordable, but people are saying, can we go back to the email? I just liked getting it in the email, right? And here I've gotten all fancy with a, a membership site. But here's the commonality that I saw in this group of 5,600 whatever, uh, people who are looking for membership um, guidance. And here's the commonality. They are not launching. They have not launched yet. All of these 95% of questions, they are all getting ready to launch. It's too many people getting ready to launch, right? Where are all the people who have launched? Well, I'll tell you where they're not. They are not asking all these technical technology questions because they've known they, they're starting to learn better. So um, don't get stuck in that. Third challenge is um, is the is the content issue right the third challenge of starting a membership site is the content challenge and people will sometimes drag their heels on a membership site as did i um, because they think that they don't have time to create the content necessary in order to um in order to meet the needs of their community right and again when i first started a membership site i had no content obligation to my members at all they weren't there for the content right they were there for you know the email and the phone stuff um, and i have made the error of giving too much content um, i am a prolific content creator Honestly, I, it's uh, it's one of the things that I can do quickly. I can almost overproduce content, and that's okay. Uh, but I, you know, content is something that you have to kind of um, balance. And so, in my first membership program, I had no content at all. In Women Who Wow, I very recently was getting into the realm of giving too much content. And so, you want to create your strategy for content. Listen. You're gonna design your own membership program. If you're not designing it to meet your specific needs and lifestyle preferences and your gifting, like how you show up, if you're not designing it around that, then you're already missing the boat, right? So you wanna design your content, how much you give, when you give it, what format it's in, all of this stuff. You wanna design that around two things. The capacity of you, your capacity, and the capacity of your members to consume. So the capacity for you to produce and the capacity of your members to consume. And in this way, you don't produce that so much content. In my members, um, you know, my membership miracle program, the paid program, I'm going to be going into detail about exactly how I've created um, the content for Women Who Wow. The lesson that I learned just recently, maybe, I don't know, 
four weeks ago even, that was like a huge aha moment and it led to about 10,000 extra dollars in income in this one month um, just because I created, I had this aha moment. It has everything to do with content, producing too much of it, etc. And it's something that I'm so excited to have stumbled upon even if, you know, by accident. But do not get bogged down in how much content you think you owe your future members. Don't get caught up in that, right? You want to um, give them content based on their capacity to consume it, what they really need, what they'll consume, what they'll take action on, and your capacity to produce it. Um, you're under no obligation to produce as much content as I produce or some other um, or some other you know membership owner either. So um, the fourth challenge that you're going to face and fix is the launch challenge getting members to pay for your membership site. Everything I have seen promoted on how to launch a membership site has frankly been dead wrong. It has been something that is akin or aligned with launching an event or a program. And I understand that there will be some similarities there, but you've got to launch your membership program very, very differently, right? And so you, you don't want to launch it like you'd launch a live event or like you'd launch a webinar or like you'd launch some digital program, right? Because memberships are um, a little bit of a different beast. You want to launch, and, and I'll go into more detail with this obviously in the paid program, but there are different ways to launch and you want to consider a few things things when you launch, the relationship you're going to have with your members, and you also want to keep in mind that no one is sitting around thinking, I wish I had a membership site to join, right? Like, wouldn't that be awesome? I just need a membership site. Everything would be better if I had a membership site to join. No one's sitting around thinking that. And so you want to make sure that you're giving them a quick fix or a um, you're letting them kind of buy a solution and that solution comes in the form of a membership program and there's there's it sounds like such a quick fix it's it's very nuanced um, it does not have to require you to create something else or a different program it doesn't require any of that it's just in the way that you're packaging your membership program because no one's sitting around waiting you know staying up at night wondering if they can get into the next membership program right they're not doing that they have other thoughts about problems that you can solve for them so those are the four things upfront cost technology um, hurdles avoid them because you can right you absolutely can um, you can always grow and by the way I thought that I was going to eventually get a whole lot more technical with women who wow once I got big right once I got X number of members or once I got members in half the states now I got members in 50 states and I still have not gotten uh, very you know much more technical so uh, avoid those the third one is that content killer don't be uh, bullied by that don't be um, nervous about producing content um, Membership will simplify your life. Membership will save you time as long as you're doing it right. And then the fourth thing is do not launch a membership like you launch anything else. This is a very nuanced beast. So you don't want to launch the way you would launch, you know, something else that you've sold in the past. So those are the four um, challenges you'll face and fix. And I would love to see you in my membership program. We've got three spots left and that is bmichellepippin.com backslash the hyphen membership hyphen miracle. I'm going to put it in the comments below. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.